Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I'm back with another video. Today's video is featuring some products from Colorado Craft Company. This is Stay Positive and Play Ball. And we are going to be creating, I think originally it was supposed to be a one layer card, um, but then I forgot to mask my little doggy, and so it ended up including some dyes that we're gonna blend into the scene, but it's a scene card nonetheless. Um, before we get too far into the video, I do want to let you know that Colorado Crafts is having a sale this weekend. I'm pretty sure we have Jennifer McGuire to thank for that. Um, the code is Jennifer30 and everything is 30% off the 6th, 7th, and 8th. Uh, so if there's anything that you've been looking to pick up from them, now would be the time. Um, these are... These were released in July of last year, and quite honestly, that is when I made the card. <laughs> that is when I made the card. Um, but I do have some of these videos that just kind of got made but never got published kind of thing, um, just because maybe I might have a couple of things due at the same time, and so they get kind of backseated. Um, and then sometimes, honestly, they just sit there, like, and that's what happened to this one. So I figured it'd be a good time to share it now. The idea behind the card was this cute little doggy kind of laying outside sleeping on the porch and maybe um, thinking about his day of when he was playing or daydreaming about playing with this big red ball. And so um, that is why you see like the little thought bubble cloud that I'm drawing. I thought it was a really cute idea. Um, to use, you know, to combine the two sets because we're always looking to get more out of the things that we have. And um, so I'm working on Eclipse masking paper here, and then I'm just going to trim this out, this little mask that I made. Now you'll see that I am cutting it down to a smaller size. That makes the fussy cutting easier, but then also these bigger pieces, I'll just stick back to my Eclipse roll and I'll use them for another project because um, there's nothing wrong with them. They can totally be used for something else. So with that said, Let's get into story time. Now, I cannot believe we are till we are till we are still telling stories from when I was teaching at Cape Cod, but <clears throat> this one is kind of too funny not to share. So I'm going to share it, even though it is um, kind of crazy and a little bit embarrassing. So you guys know, if you've listened to story time one and two, that with my travel anxiety, I take meds. Um, and so here was the game plan. So Thursday, we flew in to Cape Cod, but I didn't teach until Friday. So Thursday was just kind of like our day to get in there and um, get settled in our room, do our little meet and greet, and then, you know, spend some time with each other. And then I taught Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday was a day for us to spend together. So um, that way, while we were, uh, you know, he was with me because obviously I was out there teaching, but also so that we could have a little bit of time to spend together um, because we have two children and we don't get a lot of time. <laughs> we don't get a lot of time to ourselves. So I took my anti-anxiety med before I got on the plane. And that lasted through. So Thursday, we got to the hotel. Um, we had not eaten, so we went to get um, lunch, and then we came back and took a nap. Then we went to this meet and greet, which was great because I hadn't seen Jen in forever. I also got to see Libby. Um, she uh, was with Hero Arts for years and years, and now she's with My Favorite Things. She's wonderful. I've been friends with her for a long time, so I got to see them. And then I got to meet a lot of other nice people in the industry. Side note, back to the card. Um, so here, I started off with my blending brushes, but you're going to see this is how long ago this was. This is before I discovered the Trinity blending brushes that are like my rider dies now. Um, that after I do the blending brushes, I'm going to switch back to the original foam applicator from Ranger. And that's because the blending brushes are great, but they are a much lighter blend. And I was looking for heavy saturation of color here. So the blending brushes, it can be challenging to get really saturated color. Um, much easier to get a lighter blend, but when you're, you know, trying to create a night sky, you really want that saturated color. And so I'm going to switch back to the foams. Now I no longer use the foams. I use the Trinity Blending Buddies, but just something to note there because you're going to see it happen. And you might think to yourself, why is she doing that? And now I've explained it. So anyway, 
we go to the meet and greet and the game plan is to go to the meet and greet and then go to dinner. Um, and so we get to the meet and greet, you know, we're chit chatting or whatever, and we're there for maybe 20 minutes and I start feeling super sick to my stomach. Um, like I'm freezing, my teeth are chattering and I, um, like, I felt like I was going to pass out. So basically, I'm, like, clinging to my husband's arm as he's walking me back to the room. And he's like, what do you want to, you know, what do you want to do? Like, you still need to eat. I still need to eat. And I was like, dude, I don't think I can go anywhere. So he ends up running out to get some food. I am full-blown, like, warm fuzzy socks, sweatpants, long sleeve shirt, hoodie underneath the blankets. I am so cold. Um... And so he comes back, I'm able to eat just like a little bit. And then I'm right, I'm right back in bed. And I'm like, you know, is it the meds? Cause like before when I took the medication, I took it maybe a couple of hours before bedtime. So I hadn't tried to function on a whole day with it. And I was like, you know, is that what's going on? Um, so I was like, I had made the comment to Eric. I was like, if I was at home, I would get in the bathtub. Like that is how cold I am. And he's like, why don't you try taking a shower? So I get into the shower and I have no idea how long I was in there. I wasn't even, like, in the beginning, I wasn't even washing anything. I was just standing there, and I just kept, like, inching the dial if the water cooled off to, like, hotter and hotter water. Thankfully, it was, like, 10 o'clock at night, and most people probably are not showering. Um, but he said I was in there for, like, an hour. So finally, I get around to, you know, washing my hair and all of that stuff. I get out of the shower. I blow dry my hair. Um, but I'm right back into my comfy clothes. I am still cold. Like the moment I'm out of the shower, I'm still cold. And um, so I go to bed like that. About halfway through the night, I wake up and I am sweating to death. So now I'm stripping off layers, right? Um here, this is how you can tell how long ago this video is because this palette doesn't even look like this anymore. But what you see me using here is a combination of uh, just water and Perfect Pearls in the color Perfect Pearl. Um, my palette is so much messier now. <laughs> and then um, I'm also going to use some white acrylic paint. This is something else that I've kind of swapped out, but this still works really well and it's super affordable um, to just use a stiff brush and flick it on an acrylic block. I use the Copic Opaque White now because when you mix the acrylic paint with a little bit of water, it can become more transparent, and I really like a bold white. So now that the sky is done, you can see I forgot to mask my little doggy tush, and that it, that becomes the entirety of my problem. Before I remove the rest of the masks, I am going to go in with a fine line pen. You do want to make sure that this is alcohol marker safe, because we're going to be coloring the card with the rest of... Um, the rest of the card with Copic markers, but I'm just going to trace around this um, drawing so that it looks like it is a stamp so that it fits in with the rest of the scene that is stamped in a black outline. Um, but anyway, so the next morning I wake up and thankfully my first class on Friday was not until like 3.30. But I wake up on Friday morning and I'm like super congested and I have a sore throat and I'm like, bro, I am sick. I am sick. You got to be kidding me. I never travel and now I'm sick. And I know that I had to get it before I got on the plane because like it was literally night of that we traveled. So my wonderful husband... um goes out. He actually gets me some, I told him to look for like a Sudafed or a Leave D, um, but he couldn't find any. And then he bought me Tylenol cold and flu, which was fine. And um, he also picked me up because it's been a really long time since I've taught in person. And I am so like, some things you're just used to having. I'm so used to having my glass mat. <laughs> I'm so used to having my glass mat that I completely forgot to, to tell people that they would need a craft mat for my class. Both of my class had ink smushing techniques in them, and I don't have a craft mat, and I've told nobody to bring them. So fortunately, um, while he was out, I just told him I was like, just go to the dollar store and just buy tablecloths, because at least it'll give them, you know, a surface that's a non-porous surface. Most of the people did have a craft mat with them, so it wasn't really a huge issue, but I did have to go to like the on-site store and buy one for myself <laughs> because I did not put it on my list and consequently I did not bring it. Um, 
But anywho, so I take the Tylenol cold and flu and it does work. I'm able to go Friday to teach my class, no issues. You know, obviously I'm not in anybody's face. I'm at the front of the class. So, you know, not sharing any of my, my germs. Um, and like for the prep of the class, like we air did the tablecloths and put out like the card kits and stuff. So anywho, um, I teach the class. Everything went really well. We did go to dinner on Friday, but I wasn't feeling 100%. Um, and then be, what I learned in my first class, which was another learning lesson, was that like we had 40 minutes of class um, left when we started doing our sentiments. Like I let people stamp and heat and boss their own sentiments. And then by the time they were done, I only had 15 minutes left of class to like put everything together. So I was like, okay, I vastly overestimated or underestimated how long it would take to do this. So then Friday we went back to the room and basically stamped and die cut all the sentiments so that that wouldn't be an issue in the future. Let's talk about the card real quick. So can you see my little boo-boo here where I brought my brown up too high and it's now it's in my sky? Just because we've put down Distress Ink doesn't mean your colorless blender won't work. You can still go back and fix those little boo-boos with your colorless blender and not have a problem. So um, that was Friday. And then Saturday, I had three classes on Saturday. So my first class was at 9.30. And then it went from 9.30 to 11.30. I had a half an hour break in between. And then I caught, taught a class from 12 to 2.30. I had a break for lunch, and then my next class was at 4, 4, 4, no, 4.30 to 6.30. So Saturday was by far my busiest day. And um, so he was like, you know, what time do you need me to get up so I can come down and set, help you set up for class? And I'm like, dude, no worries. I'm not going to make you get up that early. Like, this is supposed to be your weekend away, too. I'm going to have to get up at, like, 7, 7.30 in the morning. Like, I'll be able to set up fine for the first class. But if you remember, going back to when I was redoing my website, um, they had asked me for, like, some pictures of me teaching, and I didn't have any. And I was like, bro, I don't – I'm busy teaching. Like, I don't have any pictures of me teaching. Um, so I asked him, like, could you please, you know, come down at like 11, which is the end of the first class, and then close enough to the beginning of the second class, you should be able to get both of them, like pictures of both of them, and then you can just go on about your day. And he's like, yeah, no problem. So I get up in the morning, I go down to the lobby, I get myself some tea, I come back, I take my cold meds, I get myself ready, and then I realize that I do need to eat something. So I door dash myself some Dunkin' Donuts. You guys know how I feel about Dunkin'. Get myself a coffee and a bagel. I go back downstairs. I meet the door dash guy at the door. And then I go to my class and get all of those things um, set up for class. Now, two of my classes were sold out. Two of them were not. And this one was the one that was not sold out. So it was a much smaller group of people, which was really nice to, you know, be able to like kind of get to know each other better. And it was a bit more chit chatty, a bit more of an intimate setting. And so we're most of the way through the class, like we're almost to the point of like just assembling things, um, like people are just finishing up their coloring and then, you know, we're going to be assembling. When I get so sick to my stomach, so sick to my stomach, <laughs> and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna step out. There was a bathroom in the, in the hallway, um, and so I went over there, like, thankfully, it was a single person bathroom, so I wasn't going to have an audience, but I was so sick to my stomach. And um, when I come out of the bathroom, my husband is coming down the hall, uh, and he has another, like, God love him, he has brought me a coffee, because he's gotten himself a coffee. And he just, like, gives me this, like, kind of, like, quizzical, concerned look, and I'm like, it's so bad. It's so bad. So we go back into class, I'm able to finish up that class, and then I am, like, I'm sick. And I, it's so, I am so sick to my stomach. So I was, this is no, like, it was, guys, <laughs> I cannot even tell you, like, this was my worst nightmare. Like, I never travel, I never teach in person, and now here I am having to, like, continually walk out of class because I am just super sick. So after like we get all done with the first class and we get the second class in, 
and we're getting all of that set up. I have, I'm, I'm out of the room again, back across the hallway. Um, I managed to get through kind of like the introductions and, um, like through, I think the first part of the ink smushing and like I had told Eric, like, don't leave, don't leave. Cause I might need you. And so we're getting ready to do the second portion of the ink smushing and with no warning, like, dude, I have the best husband, <laughs> I really do, with no warning whatsoever. I'm like, and now my husband is going to walk you through um, how to do the second one because I'm going to need to step out. He has no clue what he's doing. Thank God he's been watching my videos for years and he just like stepped right up to the plate and later on he told me, he's like, I told them, you know, like I am a certified instructor, but I am not a certified instructor in card making. So we're just going to wing it here. <laughs> so after I think the third or fourth time I had to walk out of class, like finally I just have to address it. Like, let's be real. These people have paid for this class. And if I had paid for a class um, and my instructor kept walking out, like I would be wondering what is going on. And so I just tell them like, look, here's the deal. I take, you know, I have travel anxiety. I take meds for that. And, um, like I'm just, I'm sick to my stomach. And they were so kind and so gracious. One lady was like, I have the little electrolyte packets, you know, do you want one of those? And I was like, thank you. I'm, you know, but I'm good. So, um, I did have medication back in my room. My wonderful husband, like this conference center is not like an up and down. This conference center is more like a football field. And the conference center where I'm teaching at is on one end and our room is clear on the other. So Eric did leave to go get me some meds to help settle my stomach. And um, thankfully, like he's very smart. He opened, <laughs> he opened them in the room and then put them like in a little packet to bring them to me. So I would not have to try to uncover Jimmy Hoffa's body in the middle of class while I was trying to take these pills. You guys know they lock them up like government secrets. Um and so he brought me some medicine and it did take probably about 45 minutes for that medication to kick in. But in between those 45 minutes, I was in and out of that classroom seven times. It was so terrible. I was so sick. So finally we get through that class and now I have this, um, you know, a little bit of a break. He's like, you still have to eat something. And I'm like, I'm terrified to eat, bro. I don't want to do it. And he is like, well, I was going to go to this place because we're on the East Coast, you know, and he loves seafood. And like when you're on the coast, that's when you want to get seafood. And um, so he's like, I was going to go to this place for lunch and get the lobster roll. But there's like a Panera in the parking lot. So why don't I go there? And I was like, great. Can you grab me a yogurt and the mac and cheese, but make sure they give you the bread because bare, like I should be able to keep bread you know, in bare minimum. So while he does that, I just basically lay around in bed. <laughs> I just basically lay around in bed. And then, um, like, and at this point, I'm no longer taking my Tylenol cold and flu. Because here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that it is the mix of the meds that is making me so sick. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm giving up on the over-the-counter stuff. I, the other stuff that I took, the anti-anxiety meds, um, should be out of my system. You know, it's been two days now. Uh, so I'm just hoping that if I just don't put anything else on my stomach, that it will get better. And so fortunately, I was able to eat just like just a little bit. And then we had to go back and I was good. Like my medication to help settle my tummy did hold up through class. Um, and then I was I was good. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, but it was just like anything that like I thought, okay, like worst case scenario, could this go wrong? Totally happened. I was sick and then I was sick a different way. And then um, when we went, we went to dinner on Saturday because um, I was finally feeling better. But my voice, if you guys remember that video, like my voice was gone between teaching and being sick. So I'm like, everything is like every third word at half a whisper. Um <laughs> And then on the way back to the hotel room, I realize I'm getting a cold sore. I'm like, are you kidding me? 
because, you know, if you ha- get cold sores, you know, when your immune system gets run down, when you're sick, like that's when you're more likely to have an outbreak of a cold sore. And that's exactly what happened to me. Um, so I did make an exception to the rule for the medications and took my medicine for my cold sore that, so that it would not get, become full blown. Um, and that did work. And my tummy was, was still okay. But it was like crazy. And then Sunday, I was totally fine. Like my voice uh, got better on Sunday and it was beautiful weather and we were able to go and walk around Main Street and have, um, you know, pick up the kids some stuff um, so that they would have some, you know, you know how it is when you have kids, like you got to get them a little something, you know, because you left them. Um so we were able to do that. And then we went out to dinner with uh, Jen and like her whole crew that helps her out. And they were all wonderful. They were like the nicest people. Um, one of them, in fact, even sent me a message after I like, we flew home Monday morning, sent me a message Monday. And she was like, you know, I've been thinking about you. I just wanted to check in and see if you made it home. Okay. Like I literally just met this woman. How kind, like just just such wonderful people. Um, and I'm so glad that my friend has such good friends. Um, cause you can just tell that they love her and support her. Um, which is great. So yeah, I think that is, <laughs> I think that's all the Cape Cod stories I have, but you guys, it was, I mean, yeah, I, there, we were leaning on Jesus a lot, a lot, a lot, because it was such a mess. Um, but the nice thing about Eric being in both of my classes was he was able to give me like some genuine feedback about like teaching the classes and how things went, um, which was really helpful because most of the time, you know, you have feedback from your your students, but you don't have somebody who knows you and who knows what you, you know, do for a living and, um, you know, can kind of really tell you the truth, you know, and he did say, he was like, you know, I don't want to upset you or hurt your feelings. And I was like, no, I'm totally open to constructive criticism. Like, you know, tell me. And he was like, basically, you're trying to fit too much into each class. And I was like, well, yeah, that's true of me anywhere. It's the same with the videos. Like I, I do, and I know that, but it's because I don't want people to feel shortchanged. Like I don't want somebody to pay to take a class and be like, oh, I didn't learn anything new or there wasn't enough to fill the time. And he was like, yes, but when you give them too much, like you overwhelm them and then you get people who cannot finish their project in the allotted amount of time. And he does totally have a fair point. Um, so that was good to try to like find a balance, learning the thing about the sentiments. Um, that was really good, you know, to know in the future if I decide to, you know, um, continue teaching in person. Um so really just like a lot of really good lessons for me in going out there and teaching. And of course, even though it was hard because of my anxiety, like I'm super glad that we went um, because like you had sometimes you just like exposure therapy is what they call it. Like sometimes you just have to do it even though it's really, really hard because when you avoid it, you train your brain to think that that is a bad thing or a hurtful thing. And so sometimes you have to do it terrified. And that's pretty much how I roll. <laughs> pretty much do everything just terrified. Um, so yeah, so that is story time for today. Um, here, I'm just finishing up the card. I, you know, heat emboss the sentiment and put that on. I'm adding some white highlights. And then that's it. Here's our cute little puppy daydreaming about um, how he's going to play, maybe like how he played today or maybe how he'll play tomorrow. But I think he's adorable. If you love Colorado Crafts, make sure you check out that sale. It's a really good one. Uh, thank you guys so much for your time. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye.